Hey, this is John with the Utopia Experience. So today we're here in my aquaponic garden. Um, it definitely could use some love, need some help. So if you know anything about aquaponics or you're interested in coming and living in the jungle, um, send us an email. Um, but no, in all sincerity, uh, I've been running this for a few years. Um, we have the basic understanding of it, uh, but it definitely uh, is lacking some attention. So I just want, but I wanted to show you what we have going. It's definitely a functioning system. Um, so you can see here, this is this whole area uh, is a flood and drain bed. Um, we have our, our rock bed here, and we it basically just gets filled here. We have this pipe. It pumps up from our fish tank. We have uh, 3,000 liters of of reserve for our tanks. We have about I would say about 500 tilapias, give or take, um, and we use our flood and drain bed uh, to basically. Uh, give the nutrients to our, our plants. Um, right now, this is mostly a cloning station. Uh, we use this to clone a lot of exotic plants as well as some vegetables. We do some hot peppers and some chilies in here, but really not as much as we should be doing. Uh, for the amount of water and the amount of fish that we have, we should create a larger uh, system. Um, the idea is, uh, in the long run, to create a, um, a float system for lettuce and, and uh, microgreens. Uh, for the hotel that was the original idea and we've just really never gotten there so uh, but anyways if you want to come down i'll show you our our tanks and our fish and just to kind of give you an idea of what we have going on so we're down here at our ibc tanks we have three tanks uh, i think they're 1100 liters per per tank um, they're all linked um, so basically what we have this, our center tank is a pump, our pump station, pumps the water up to our flood and drain bed. Um, and then we have a, a bell siphon, which when the tank, when the flood and drain fills, it siphons the water and it pulls it and it dumps into here. And then we have a, thank you, Shadow. My dog likes fish food too, if you can tell. <laughs> um, so but basically it kind of keeps a stable level and this is our, our center tank is our pump station. Um, and right now we're just running with one flood and drain bed. Um, ideally with the thought is, <clears throat> is over this front here, over the, the front of this here, we actually want to do uh, a several, a tier of uh, a float system, a basically float beds where we, they're lined with plastic and we have either, I, I really don't want to use styrofoam just because it's not really that eco-friendly. So I'd like to maybe do something like getting plywood um, where it sits on top, we perforate it, maybe we line that with like a uh, polyurethane, like a plastic of some sort. Um, and then we can, we can put our baskets, um, just our baskets inside of that, which then we'll grow our lettuce in. So that's our next major project here in our garden. So I just wanted to guys give you guys a little bit of an insight as to what our aquaponic system is how we're running it right now and where we want to take it. So uh, this is just a quick video. Uh, but really, if anybody is uh, really has, is an expert in or has a great deal of knowledge in aquaponics and you're interested in coming to Utopia for a, an extended period of time and help us get our system up and running, uh, please contact us. Um, it would be, be great to have you. So anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. And we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Take care.